Good morning, prayer warriors. This morning, we are going to read from, uh, I'm going to read from, When Life is Hard, Turning Your Trials to Gold. And this is a Bible study by James McDonald. And um, it's a Bible study that I received. Uh, we did this in my Bible study class uh, several months ago, sometime last year. And it came at a point in life, in my life, when I really needed it. I was going through a lot. And um, it really taught me a lot. And this is what I wanted to talk about today. Taking stock. Taking action. And um, it's a way of reflection. It's a way of looking at yourself and your life and where you are at. And today's scripture is Hebrews 12, 11. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. I'm not going to go into explaining the scripture because I can explain it from my own point of view. You know, I'm not a learned pastor or anything like that, a biblical person like that, um, but I'm not going to go into the explanation of it, but you can go to Hebrews 12 and read more, and then if you would like to have a discussion, yes, you can post on the page and we can talk about it, and that's wonderful, but I'm reflecting on my own life, taking stock, taking action, which is something that I do quite often when I'm, do you ever realize that you're body and your mind knows when you're supposed to stop for a moment and really look at yourself and examine what's going on especially when you you keep going through trials and keep experiencing stuff and you have to examine it and one of the questions that focus question that is asked is in what ways can a person practice looking to Jesus in life's trial when you go through your trials, do you pray, do you cry, do you get emotional, do you drink, do you eat? I'm sure we all do a little bit of everything, but at some point we have to stop and really, really take a look at what's going on. And so after you go through all that, because it's human for us to do that, and I know that's a cliche saying that we're only human, but it is the truth, we are, and we all go through things. but sit and look at it, write it down if it helps, read your Bible, pray. That's the most important thing. Of course, talk to someone, talk to God, talk to a friend, talk to your pastor, but write it down and look to Jesus to see what is going on and examine it. And one of the things you can do is, yes, pray. Helps you to look to Jesus when you pray about it, when you read your Bible. Sometimes you can go to a verse or a chapter that has an example of what you're going through, and that might explain what you're going through, and that will help you a lot. Those are some of the ways and some of the things that you can do. And the next question, focus question is, how will Jesus' example affect the way you approach your hard situation? Um, so many of us... Um, we look to others as examples in our life who we um, revere or, you know, make an iconic example of, look to help pe other people live their life. But the best example you can do is look to Jesus because this chapter states how Jesus did go through his own trials. He knew what was coming. He saw ahead. He's a visioner or a visioneer. He was able to see that at the end of what he will be going through will be the reward. The reward of long life being at the right hand of God. And so he went through the trials with all of his disciples, with the betrayal, with being crucified. Then he was raised from the dead. And then he ascended to heaven. And so he went through all that and experienced all the hate, all that pain. Because at the end of it, he has his reward, being at the right hand of Christ. I'm sorry, of God. And so, when we go through our own trials, let's look to Jesus. Let's remember. Talk to him. 
sit in it. When I say sit in it, don't run away from it. Don't make excuses. Admit it. Accept it. Pray on it. Think on it. Help it to make you a better person. Because this is how our Lord is making us grow. And ask Him to help you to see what it is that He wants you to see. To understand it. To bring someone into your life that will help you to understand it. To seek the person who will help to explain it. And you will see at the end of all of that, if you trust in Him and just believe in your faith, that at the end of it, the reward will be really great. Because, you know, you go through your pain and your growth when Jesus loves you and you know that you are special and you know that God is looking out for you, that He is there for you. And so let's remember to always keep Jesus in mind. Always rejoice when things are going wrong. You don't want to rejoice, I know. I posted on that recently when I said when things are not going well, when things are going wrong, rejoice. Call on Him. That's what He wants you to do. Look to Him for answers. Ask Him to help you to show you what you need to learn. And then you'll be surprised at the outcome. So as you go about your day and as you go about your week, have a wonderful blessed week. And continue to read with us and continue to share. Have a wonderful and blessed day.